Welcome to the H series of webinars. This webinar series is aimed at new and aspiring sheep producers to give them a step up into the Queensland sheep industry. This webinar is part four of the series and is titled Herding Foundations. It explores the basics of working sheep in an uncontrolled environment and how working dogs can be used to move sheep efficiently and effectively. This webinar was delivered by renowned stock handler and dog trainer Neil McDonald on the 9th of July 2020. This is clip one of eight and covers interacting with livestock outside of mustering time. Right, we'll get straight into gear. This is a, um, uh, a glimpse of sheep grazing at our place at home. And it's ideal when you can get livestock so that they'll stand and graze when you approach with a vehicle. As you can see, we've got out and taken a photo with the vehicle in, in view. And it's, it's super important that we get our livestock so they don't bomb off the waters. We've got another shot here now where um, they're, they're grazing right up to a vehicle. They're not frightened. And this is after having shifted them, shifted them from one eaten out cell grazing lane to another one that morning. And uh, they've dropped their heads. I think even the next shot here, you can see that they're not making out their eating. I think you can actually see that one is devouring that plant. So this is how we need to get our livestock. The next photo or the next glimpse is a chap from, well, a family, the Finger family from Claremont, are specialists at having livestock in the right frame of mind. And a lot of this is to do with the way you go around your waters. You can see the photo up on the top left corner is where they've just approached, it was Frank and his daughter with the camera have gone out there. And as they approach the water, as soon as some cattle stand as soon as you touch the flight zone, which is the area where livestock start to recognise you, instead of just driving in hard and doing what you want to do, whether it be clean the trough or put out some supplement or start a, a, a motor, instead of just barging into them, once you sort of kiss onto that flight zone, it's super important you stop the ute, pull it up and then reverse up a bit. It's like uh, you see someone get up on a stage and they can hypnotise an audience by getting a pendulum and swinging it from left to right. Well, Frank's worked out that if he drives in with his ute, then backs it up, drives in a bit more and backs it up. He does a gearbox every year, but it means that those livestock, it's almost hypnotised them not to run away because when you first turn up there, they've got a thought in their mind of running. And if you keep driving in close to do whatever you want to do, with no regard for the flight zone and the and the mob 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 structure mob mentality, those their first thought is to run, and they keep that thought. Whereas if you do a little back up, they turn and look at you. They wonder what sort of drugs you're on, where you're just sitting in there in a ute back and forward, and uh, they think there's something a little odd with you. So they approach, and then you can see the uh, the the red cows getting closer, and then the other one sniffing the bull bar. So um, that's how you get livestock so that they don't run from the waters, abandoning the young ones, run their kilos off and, and learn that they can escape being mustered by just running. So that's been learnt in the cattle industry here. There is some questions asking whether it's the same way to treat sheep as, as cattle. Well, it, as far as I know, it's exactly the same. There might be the very rare odd difference, but I think all sheep producers need to do a run in the north and see how some cattle operations, uh, some cattle operators have their cattle like this and other ones, all you would see probably there is a fine trail of dust. This is lessons to be learnt for uh, sheep producers. Mind you, not all cattle people do this either. So um, that's, that's where this hypnotising livestock not to run away or mesmerising them not to run away was sort of born. Thank you for